guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm finally reviewing the Pixie Beauty Glow Collection. I had shared uh, on Instagram stories that I received the entire PR kit from Pixie. It took a lot of time to get to me because of the whole customs thing. And finally, when it got to me, I wanted to review it once I've really, really tried everything out. Because this is skincare, it's not really makeup that I can test it for one week and give you all a review. So two months later, here we are and uh, Pixie has already launched in India. There is a huge uh, launch party. I was not in India at that time. But uh, finally, they are available on Sephora for everybody to buy and know what the products are like. So if you want to know my honest thoughts about the entire glow collection, please keep on watching. But before that, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you are. Click on that big red subscribe button and also on the bell button next to it so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now, keep on watching. Okay, so when Pixie sent me their PR kit, it was this huge ass uh, cardboard box like you know all the YouTubers get. And uh, it was really, really special to me. Like I said, it was the first time such a big company approached me to send PR. Uh, this came inside the box. I've already discarded the box long back. But this is an instruction manual stating uh, what each product is for. So in the same very pattern of how you apply the products, I'm going to review one at a time. Okay, before I dive into any product per se, I just want to mention that the entire Pixie Beauty Glow Collection comes with glycolic acid in all of their products. And as much as I have read up and watched videos on glycolic acid, I have learned that it is not the best thing to layer glycolic acid one on top of the other or any acid for that matter one on top of the other. It's best you go in with one acid product as an exfoliator for your skin, as a chemical exfoliator and then on you just layer something neutral to balance the pH level of your skin. So that is all I know and I, that is the rule I have followed. Okay, now let's dive into the first product which is a cleanser. This is the Pixie Glow Tonic Cleansing Gel. Uh, it is an exfoliating cleanser and of course it has glycolic acid in it. Now this product per se is of course a cleanser, it's a face wash but it did not do much for me. I did not like this at all I would say, I did give it a few shots, I tried it on uh, bare skin like when I get back home from college, I have no makeup on, I tried it on when I had a little bit of lipstick or and mascara to like just wash that off or maybe even like after I remove my full face of makeup. It does not really cleanse anything, does not take the residual makeup off your skin, does not even lather like you will see in the demo, you will see that it does not even look like face wash, doesn't lather but that really isn't the irking factor for me, I'm okay if the cleanser is really calm and mild but somehow I felt it's not even cleansing my skin you know and since it has glycolic acid in it, it acts as an exfoliator so maybe it's getting rid of the dead skin but my skin wasn't really feeling extremely glowy or supple after it that you know I feel that the dead skin is off my skin so this product per se was a real no-go for me I wouldn't really advise it to anybody or recommend it I think you can pass on the first cleanser. Now after cleansing you need to go in for toning and that's their second product. Fudge is roaming in the background, please ignore him. Uh, this is the Pixie Beauty Glow Tonic which is an award winning toner. It is an excellent, excellently hyped product and let me just tell you that it is worth every single hype. I wanted to test this out the most, like I was most excited that this was coming in PR to me because I really always wanted to test out what the hype was, what it exactly does to your skin. So this has 5% glycolic acid in it, that's about it and it's an exfoliating toner. Now how your exfoliating toners basically work is because of the chemical acid in it, it gets rid of the dead skin layer on your or skin which is already present on your skin after the wear and tear of the day. Uh, if you just take a cotton pad and swipe this across your face, you will literally see uh, all the dirt, the gunk like rim, like extracted from your pores and a layer of like skin just gets, the dead skin just gets removed because just using this toner just by itself and like just feeling your skin, you will feel the skin so so supple and soft you really feel like it's done something for your skin and I think over the time it would brighten your skin also even though I've used it for two months I wasn't using it every single day I felt like it was best I would give it one day off like an alternate day basis it smells amazing it smells like I cannot put a finger on it but it's so so beautiful it smells like this 
spa, like this very beautiful spa hotel. You know how they have these fragrances going on. It just smells like that. But that's that fragrance does not irritate your skin at all. Really cleanses, really gets rid of the gunk. And if you have a little bit of residual makeup, it will definitely get rid of that as well. It balances your skin out, gets rid of the dead skin. It does everything it's supposed to, and I think it's totally worth the hype. If there is one product you want to get from Pixi Beauty, it has got to be this. Yeah. Now for serum, this is what they have: the Glow Tonic Serum. It's an exfoliating radiance serum. And once again, every other product over here says exfoliating because it has glycolic acid in it. Now I don't really like going uh, with the toner and then the serum on the same day or at the same time. I've just done it for the demo today, and that's how my skin looks. Um, the Glutonic Serum, once again, I think this is my second most favorite product after the serum. If there's something I would highly, highly recommend is this uh, serum. Now if you're a dry skin girl, this serum is going to be like your ride or die, you know, like this is a glowing serum. It will make your skin just, this entire glow you can see on my skin is entirely this serum. It is very, very thick in consistency. It's a sticky, 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 sticky serum. And when you massage it nicely into your skin, you will feel it sink into your skin, leave a little bit of tackiness to your skin, but at the same time add so much glow and even though I am oily skin uh, I do like it on the days that I'm really tired exhausted my skin is looking dull it's looking very ashy and I just I'm not feeling myself I just apply two drops of this and massage it nicely into my skin and just go to sleep and next day morning my skin looks brighter it looks glowier it looks very very beautiful and supple and soft and that's why I love it on like those occasions where my skin is just not feeling itself looking very very dry I would not recommend this uh, in the daytime as especially for a oily skin girl because it remains tacky and you will tend to sweat so I don't use this as a day serum actually I don't use any of these products as day products because also let me tell you that when you're using glycolic acid or treating your skin with glycolic acid you need to be very careful of the sun you need to apply sunscreen generously or what I do is like put on a scarf when I go out in the uh, scorching heat like to really really protect my skin because when you treat your skin with glycolic acid it becomes very sensitive to the UV rays and you tend to tan easier so whenever you're doing any sort of acid treatment make sure you're very well protected from the skin you the sun you've lathered your sunscreen you put on a scarf your protection and you're good to go so that's why I would not recommend all of this as a daycare although Pixie recommends that you can do a day night whenever you want but I would highly highly recommend using glycolic acid or any acid products as a night care routine and not your day care routine. Now after you've toned and applied serum and your skin is glowy, the last product that they have for your face is the Pixi Phenomenal Gel. Uh, this is a gel moisturizer and this one does not have glycolic acid in it. This is a neutralizing moisturizer. So their whole point basically lies in the fact that you layer glycolic acid this far and then finally put on a neutralizing moisturizer that balances the pH of your skin. This is also one of the products that I highly highly recommend because I did really really enjoy using this. At first I felt it was nothing great and it was very very similar in consistency and action as compared to my Sebamed Clear Face Schedule. I'll just show you all my Sebamed is right here. Um, this is my Sebamed Clear Face Schedule. I talk about this all the freaking time. It's a gel moisturizer. It's very affordable and it's very neutralizing to your skin. So keeps your skin really supple and also it's best for acne prone skin because it doesn't make you oily, greasy or any of that. I found these two very very similar in consistency. You could almost say that this is a dupe for this. The only fact is that this one is a little more thicker. So uh, even dry skin girls would enjoy it, not just oily skin girls. It's a gel moisturizer, but it sinks very well into the skin. It's a little thicker consistency. Once again, it's, the fragrance is amazing, but not irritating at all. Now I'm actually done reviewing all the products that I've basically used and tested, really, really tested out uh, from the Pixie kit. One final product they sent me was this Pixie on the Glow Stick. Now the whole concept about this is very fun and fresh. It's a, a multi-use moisture stick. So basically it is like a, 
um, roll-on thing and you can just use it as a moisturizer on the go whenever you feel like just swipe it across your face and you know lather it on your skin for me this is not a product I recommend to oily girls at all because it's a very very thick cream it's a, it's a creamy moisturizer it's not your gel moisturizer and I don't like anything creamy on my face I just cannot with creamy stuff so I have stayed away from this all the time I actually even threw it in my bag in South Africa like that a backpack I was carrying every day to travel uh, th thinking you know I'll use it on travel uh, but I did not because my skin even though it was so scorching dry in South Africa I didn't feel like putting on a greasy product because I'm not that kind of person I like something very lightweight on my skin I don't like feeling the feel of um, skincare or even makeup for that matter I like it very lightweight like it should not feel like I have something on my skin that's why I don't like this but my dry skin girls out there who get really really oily on the go and you want something on the go to just hydrate yourself and like get that moisture back especially in winters when skin gets so ashy and flaky this I would highly recommend for those girls but for my oily skin girls I don't think you'll like this at all uh, what I did in South Africa my hands were also getting very very dry and grey so I would just like swipe this a little bit on my hands and use it as hand cream because I don't really carry hand cream with me okay so I don't really carry hand cream with me so I used it as that okay. so that was all I had to say about all the Pixie products these were the 5 products they sent to me in mail and this is a part of their, these 5 products are a part of their glow collection uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you found it helpful every detail I gave about each product and how I felt about them and which are hits and which are misses highly highly suggest that each and every one of you who is concerned about acne who's concerned about acne scars, who's concerned that their skin does not get clean enough at the end of the day, maybe the residual um, pro, uh, residual dirt in your skin is causing uh, the acne, you get the bouts of acne. For such people, I highly recommend the glow, the glow acid toner or whatever that called, that the toner from this range is really worth the award winning product that they hype it for and uh, the serum also for my dry skin girls, my oily skin girls who find their skin very dull highly recommend those two products I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you all liked my honest honest review this is what my skin looks like after all of the treatment I did with all these five products my bare skin so you know that my review is very very honest as always even though it was PR it's not a sponsored video at all if you're not already subscribed make sure that you are and if you like this video hit the like button I will see you all in my next one bye guys love you all